non psychometric solutions. In this video, I am going to show how to detect the univariate outliers in a data set. The outliers are actually numerically distant values which are notably either lower or higher than the rest of the values in a data set. Researcher says that the examination of both univariate and multivariate outliers is very important before going for any further multivariate analysis. The presence of the uh, either the univariate or the multivariate uh, outliers can seriously distort the results and consequently such results cannot be generalized. So this uh, video is about the univariate outliers. In my next video I, am ex I will explain uh, how to detect the multivariate outliers. So as this video is about the univariate outliers, so we use the uh, skewness and kurtosis and the standardized Z scores for detecting the uh, univariate outliers. And uh, uh, researcher says that there is a general rule of thumb that uh, if uh, the skewness and kurtosis values are uh, uh, above the range of plus minus two, then it means that there are univariate outliers and it need to be uh, resolved. Uh, similarly, uh, the Z scores uh, uh, has the general rule of thumb that if the Z scores are above uh, the value of plus uh, or minus 3, then it means that the data has a univariate outlier and it needs to be resolved. Uh, some of the uh, researcher even recommends that if the data uh, has the uh, that scores uh, of plus minus 2.5 then still it, it, it can be considered as an outlier univariate outlier so uh, um, how to treat the outliers uh, uh, the outliers can be treated with the data transformation and data transformation can help to correct the violations of the statistical assumptions through modification of the aberrant values. Uh, researcher normally suggests that the uh, negatively skewed uh, should be changed uh, or transformed uh, by implying the squared or the cube transformation, whereas the positively skewed uh, uh, should be transformed uh, by implying the logarithm or square root. So let's come to uh, detecting the outliers. So we have this hypothetical data. You can see here we have five variables, sorry, four variables. So you can see uh, this is a hypothetical data and let's see how uh, we can detect the outliers. So go to the analyze and click on the descriptive and uh, enter all of these four variables uh, here you can see, as I told you, that we can detect the univariate outliers by the calculation of Z scores. Uh, so here, um, click on this save standardized value as variable. This will calculate the Z score. And then go to the option. And here you can see the skewness and kurtosis. And click on the both and then continue. And then click on the OK. So here uh, you can see we have the data the descriptive data for the four variables and here we have the uh, outliers the univariate outliers in the variable one we have a, a skewness which is uh, about the two point two so this is uh, let 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 us check why that there is an outlier in it and here you can see the standardized Z scores. Uh, the variable one has a standardized Z score that are above the 2.5 and it's just near to three and these are uh, positively skewed. Uh, we have also in the variable four uh, data above the two, but uh, let's see this, this, this might not be the outlier, but Anyhow, it is an aberrant data. 
so uh, as we uh, we discussed previously that the uh, positively uh, skewed uh, outliers uh, can be treated by the taking a logarithm or the square root so uh, here in the second uh, respondent here we can see uh, this 9 is uh, causing the um, outlier so we need to take the logarithm or the square root of uh, this uh, 9 uh, don't forget to forget this uh, data transformation rules then if the data is positively skewed then we need to take a square root or a logarithm so uh, for taking the log or the um, square root you can either use the transformation uh, that is go to the compute and here you can see the um, the log uh, the other manual way is go to the calculator and uh, here you can take the, the log of the data so um, we have this uh, log that is uh, one so after taking the log uh, or the square root uh, then you check again why the, the outliers are still there and if uh, the outliers are no more there then the data is free from the outlier in case if there are still outlier then you need to delete such uh, cases because they are the uh, 